Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. What's this photo? Oh, it's my family at the airport. When we arrived back from our holiday, we were waiting for our bags. Who's that boy with the curly hair? The one with his hands in his pockets? Yes. That's William. He's my sister's oldest boy. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Is that you in the long jacket, Helen? Yes, it is. What were you doing? Well, you know you can't use your phone on a plane. I was just turning mine on again after the journey. Oh, I see. And where's your husband? Robert? He's the person with the backpack. He's got a beard. Yes. For the first time. He looks good with one. Thanks. That looks like a heavy suitcase. Do you mean the one with the penguin on it? No, the one that the man has just dropped on the floor. Oh, yes. That's my brother Michael. He bought a lot of CDs on his holiday, and then he couldn't carry them. Oh, dear. Is that person in sunglasses in your family? The man at the back of the picture? Yes. That's my younger brother. Is his name David? Yes, that's right. He was waiting for his bag. It was the last one to come off the plane. That's boring. Yes, it was. Where's your daughter, Holly? Is she the girl who's hiding behind the suitcase? No. I don't know that girl. So, is she the girl who's speaking to that boy? Yes. And she's brushing her hair. She wanted to look beautiful for the photo, but it was too late. <laughs> Now listen to part one again. Is that you in the long jacket, Helen? Yes, it is. What were you doing? Well, you know you can't use your phone on a plane. I was just turning mine on again after the journey. Oh, I see. And where's your husband? Robert? He's the person with the backpack. He's got a beard. Yes. For the first time. He looks good with one. Thanks. That looks like a heavy suitcase. Do you mean the one with the penguin on it? No. The one that the man has just dropped on the floor. Oh, yes. That's my brother Michael. He bought a lot of CDs on his holiday, and then he couldn't carry them. Oh, dear. Is that person in sunglasses in your family? The man at the back of the picture? Yes. That's my younger brother. Is his name David? Yes, that's right. He was waiting for his bag. It was the last one to come off the plane. 
That's boring. Yes, it was. Where's your daughter, Holly? Is she the girl who's hiding behind the suitcase? No. I don't know that girl. So, is she the girl who's speaking to that boy? Yes. And she's brushing her hair. She wanted to look beautiful for the photo, but it was too late. <laughs> that is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm so excited, Dad. My class is going to visit a castle next week. Wow! What day are you going to go, Katie? On Wednesday. OK. You have to tell me about it. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What's the name of this castle? It's called Howard Castle. How do you spell that? I've got it on this piece of paper. It's H-O-W-A-R-D. I know. It's about 30 kilometres from here. And what are you going to do there? We're going to learn about the people who lived there 650 years ago. How are you going to do that? Well, first, we're going to watch a film about them. It's called Brave... And... Scary? <laughs> no, Dad. It's called Brave and Strong. And what else are you going to do? Well, they've got some clothes there and we can dress up in them. So, do you want to wear a Queen's crown? No, I really want to try a helmet. I think they were heavy. Well, that sounds brilliant. Are you going to go there on a bus? Yes. We have to meet at the car park. The one at school? No. Some men are working there at the moment, so we're going to meet in the one at the fire station. OK, that's good. Now listen to part two again. What's the name of this castle? It's called Howard Castle. How do you spell that? I've got it on this piece of paper. It's H-O-W-A-R-D. I know. It's about 30 kilometres from here. And what are you going to do there? We're going to learn about the people who lived there 650 years ago. How are you going to do that? Well... First, we're going to watch a film about them. It's called Brave and... Scary? <laughs> no, Dad. It's called Brave and Strong. And what else are you going to do? Well, they've got some clothes there and we can dress up in them. So, do you want to wear a Queen's crown? No, I really want to try a helmet. I think they were heavy. Well, that sounds brilliant. Are you going to go there on a bus? Yes. We have to meet at the car park. The one at school? No. Some men are working there at the moment, so we're going to meet in the one at the fire station. OK, that's good. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. The children in Mr White's class have just finished an art project about their favourite creatures. Which creature did each child draw? Your classroom looks fantastic, Mr White. Who did all these beautiful drawings? They're good, aren't they? The children did a project on their favourite creatures. 
Who drew the camel? Oh, that was George. He visited an animal park with his family last weekend, and he had a ride on one. They're very ugly animals, but he thought it was great. Can you see the letter H? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Look at all the different colours in this beetle. It's really good. Yes, the boy who did that is a really clever artist. What's his name? It's Richard. He collects insects and studies them, so he knows a lot about them. Excellent. I can see that some of the other children like things that fly. Yes, that's right. One girl's family keeps birds at home. Really? Yes. Her name's Daisy. What did she draw? Well, before she started, she wanted to do a parrot, but then she saw a TV program about an eagle, and she decided to do one of those instead. And sea creatures are popular with your class too. Who drew the dolphin? Was it the boy called John? Well, he did draw something in the sea, but he prefers dangerous animals. So, is that his shark? Yes, it looks quite frightening with all those teeth, doesn't it? There's another dangerous animal here. Do you mean the dinosaur? No, actually, I meant the polar bear. Oh yes, they look furry and nice, but they can be horrible. A girl called Emma drew that. She wants to go and explore cold countries in the future, so she chose that animal. So, who did draw the dinosaur? It's very good. Yes, it is. That was Sarah. She's really interested in animals that are extinct, so she chose to do that one. They're quite difficult to draw, but she did it really well. Yes,、yeah, she did. But all the children's drawings are great. <laughs> Thanks. Now listen to part three again. Look at all the different colours in this beetle. It's really good. Yes, the boy who did that is a really clever artist. What's his name? It's Richard. He collects insects and studies them, so he knows a lot about them. Excellent. I can see that some of the other children like things that fly. Yes, that's right. One girl's family keeps birds at home. Really? Yes. Her name's Daisy. What did she draw? Well, before she started, she wanted to do a parrot, but then she saw a TV program about an eagle, and she decided to do one of those instead. And sea creatures are popular with your class too. Who drew the dolphin? Was it the boy called John? Well, he did draw something in the sea, but he prefers dangerous animals. So, is that his shark? Yes, it looks quite frightening with all those teeth, doesn't it? There's another dangerous animal here. Do you mean the dinosaur? No, actually, I meant the polar bear. Oh yes. They look furry and nice, but they can be horrible. A girl called Emma drew that. She wants to go and explore cold countries in the future, so she chose that animal. So, who did draw the dinosaur? It's very good. Yes, it is. That was Sarah. She's really interested in animals that are extinct. So she chose to do that one. They're quite difficult to draw, but she did it really well. Yes,、yeah, she did.
But all the children's drawings are great. <laughs> Thanks. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How are Charlie and his mum going to get to the city? Charlie, we're going to go to the city tomorrow. How are we going to get there? In a taxi like last time? Well, your dad could give us a ride in the car, but I prefer to go on the train. Great. I like doing that. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where are they going to go first? Where are we going to go? Well, your sister wants me to get something from her school for her, but I think we should go to the bank first. Then are we going to go shopping? Yes. I need some things from the market. Two. What is Mum going to buy? Are you going to buy some more delicious strawberries? I've already got some. Great. But I need some flour. I'm going to make some cookies. Hooray! Three. What are they going to have for lunch? Can we go to the pizza restaurant for lunch? I think that's too expensive. So I'm making these sandwiches. We can eat them in the park. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I've got some chocolate cakes. And you can eat them on the journey if you're hungry. Thanks, Mom. You're fantastic. Four. Where are they going to go in the evening? What time are we going to come home? Well, I've got another surprise for you. We're going to go somewhere special in the evening. What? To the movie theater? No. This is outside. There's a fun fair in town, so we can go to that. Like when we went to the circus last year? That's right. Five. Who is going to meet Mum and Charlie in the evening? Are we going to go there alone? No. We're going to meet your Aunt Vicky. And Uncle Peter? He can't come. But Grandpa can. That sounds like a cool day out, Mom. Now listen to part four again. One. Where are they going to go first? Where are we going to go? Well, your sister wants me to get something from her school for her, but I think we should go to the bank first. Then are we going to go shopping? Yes. I need some things from the market. Two. What is Mum going to buy? Are you going to buy some more delicious strawberries? I've already got some. Great. But I need some flour. I'm going to make some cookies. Hooray! Three. What are they going to have for lunch? Can we 
go to the pizza restaurant for lunch? I think that's too expensive. So I'm making these sandwiches. We can eat them in the park. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I've got some chocolate cakes, and you can eat them on the journey if you're hungry. Thanks, Mom. You're fantastic. Four. Where are they going to go in the evening? What time are we going to come home? Well, I've got another surprise for you. We're going to go somewhere special in the evening. What? To the movie theater? No. This is outside. There's a fun fair in town, so we can go to that. Like when we went to the circus last year. That's right. Five. Who is going to meet Mum and Charlie in the evening? Are we going to go there alone? No, we're going to meet your aunt Vicky. And Uncle Peter? He can't come, but Grandpa can. That sounds like a cool day out, Mom. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. What's this picture, Grace? It's from my history class, Dad. These people lived more than two thousand years ago. That's interesting. Why don't you colour the flag on top of the tent? Okay. How about colouring it blue? I'm doing that now. Can you see the blue flag? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. The women in this picture are busy. Yes, that woman's making a blanket. It's very nice. Colour the circle on it yellow. Yes, that's a good colour. I'd like to have that on my bed. Me too. Two. I think that woman's good at making beautiful things. Yes. Look at that cushion. The one with the baby on it. Yes. I'm going to colour it red. He'll like that. <laughs> Three. What has that man behind the tent got? That's fur from the animals. He's going to make something with it. Is it for shoes? You could write that on the board next to him. No, it's for coats actually. Oh, write that then. Four. What's that boy drinking? They usually drank milk, I think. I think so too. I can write that on that bottle in front of him. Okay, do that now. Five. And I think that woman's his mother. She's cooking their dinner on the fire. Yes, 
They eat the meat from cows. She's cooking it in a metal bowl. You could colour that now. No, I'm going to do the one on the ground. It's made of wood. OK, colour it brown. Then I think you'll have a very nice picture. Thanks, Dad. Now listen to part five again. One. The women in this picture are busy. Yes, that woman's making a blanket. It's very nice. Colour the circle on it yellow. Yes, that's a good colour. I'd like to have that on my bed. Me too. Two. I think that woman's good at making beautiful things. Yes. Look at that cushion. The one with the baby on it? Yes. I'm going to colour it red. He'll like that. <laughs> Three. What has that man behind the tent got? That's fur from the animals. He's going to make something with it. Is it for shoes? You could write that on the board next to him. No, it's for coats, actually. Oh, write that then. Four. What's that boy drinking? They usually drank milk, I think. I think so too. I can write that on that bottle in front of him. OK, do that now. Five. And I think that woman's his mother. She's cooking their dinner on the fire. Yes, they eat the meat from cows. She's cooking it in a metal bowl. You could colour that now. No, I'm going to do the one on the ground. It's made of wood. OK, colour it brown. Then I think you'll have a very nice picture. Thanks, Dad. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a great photo of the station, Dad. Yes. Well, the 8.35 city train was late. We had to wait on the platform for an hour. Oh. Who's that person? The one who's reading a newspaper? By the bin? That's George. I often sit next to him on our journey to work. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Do you know that man? The one in the uniform? Yes, his first name's Harry, but I don't know his surname. 
He gave us the information we needed about our train. That's good. Yes. He's pointing to the timetable on the screen. One person sitting on their suitcase. That's right. Her name's Katie. I love her sunglasses. Do you? She goes to college in the city. She wants to be a designer. Of clothes, I mean. Great. And who's the person under the umbrella? The one reading their e book. No, the one on the left. Her name's Sophia. She's a very clever businesswoman. Who's the man with the little girl? Oh, is it Richard? No, let me think. It's Robert. Yes, that's right. That's his daughter in the spotted coat. You know lots of people, don't you? Well, most of them catch the same train as me each day. I know that woman too, the one with her hands in her pockets. How do you know her? Well, she works in my office building. She's called Emma. Her bag's enormous. She carries a laptop in it. I think it's really heavy. So do I. Now listen to part one again. Do you know that man, the one in the uniform? Yes, his first name's Harry, but I don't know his surname. He gave us the information we needed about our train. That's good. Yes, he's pointing to the timetable on the screen. One person sitting on their suitcase. That's right. Her name's Katie. I love her sunglasses. Do you? She goes to college in the city. She wants to be a designer, of clothes, I mean. Great. And who's the person under the umbrella? The one reading their e-book. No, the one on the left. Her name's Sophia. She's a very clever businesswoman. Who's the man with the little girl? Oh, is it Richard? No, let me think. It's Robert. Yes, that's right. That's his daughter in the spotted coat. You know lots of people, don't you? Well, most of them catch the same train as me each day. I know that woman too, the one with her hands in her pockets. How do you know her? Well, she works in my office building. She's called Emma. Her bag's enormous. She carries a laptop in it. I think it's really heavy. So do I. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Zoe. I'm so happy to meet you. You're my favorite pop star. Can you answer some of my questions for me? I like to write about you in our school magazine. Of course. When did you have your first singing lesson? My parents knew that I was quite good at singing. So when I was ten, they decided to find me a teacher. I loved having lessons with her. That's amazing. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Which is your favorite song? The one that's called Winter. That's the one that I like best. Oh. I always think of snow when I hear that. <laughs> so do I. 
And where do you enjoy singing best? At theaters? When I'm not practicing, I love singing at festivals most of all. I've been to two of those. Great. Have you got a manager? Yes. He's wonderful. He's looked after me very well for the last two years. What's his name? Michael Sparks. You spell that S P A R K S. Thanks. Do you eat or drink anything special before you go on to the stage? Like water, perhaps? Well, I always have some honey. It helps me a lot with my singing. And what do you like wearing most? That white jacket is brilliant. It is nice. But the answer to your question is my necklace. I always put that on. It's really lovely. Thank you. But I must go now. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for answering my questions. Now listen to part two again. Which is your favorite song? The one that's called Winter. That's the one that I like best. Oh, I always think of snow when I hear that. <laughs> so do I. And where do you enjoy singing best? At theaters? When I'm not practicing, I love singing at festivals most of all. I've been to two of those. Great. Have you got a manager? Yes. He's wonderful. He's looked after me very well for the last two years. What's his name? Michael Sparks. You spell that S P A R K S. Thanks. Do you eat or drink anything special before you go on to the stage? Like water, perhaps? Well, I always have some honey. It helps me a lot with my singing. And what do you like wearing most? That white jacket is brilliant. It is nice. But the answer to your question is my necklace. I always put that on. It's really lovely. Thank you. But I must go now. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for answering my questions. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Frank's mother was in the city today. Where did she see each thing? Hi, Mum. You look tired. Hello, Frank. Yes, I am. I had to do lots of walking in the city today. Did you see any of those new taxis? I know you're interested in those. Yes. I saw one when I walked past the police station. Great. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I saw someone riding a really cool bicycle as well. A racing bike? I don't know, but it looked very expensive. I was outside the post office when they rode past on that. Did you take a photo of it on your phone? No, Frank. I was too busy to do that. And a fire engine raced past me too this morning. Where was it going? I didn't see. Well, perhaps we'll hear something about it on the news. Yes, I'm trying to think where I was. I wasn't very near the fire station. Oh, I remember. 
I was going past the shoe factory. I'm doing a project on rockets. Well, I saw one of those too today. I don't believe you, Mum. I did. There's one by the entrance to the sports stadium. Not one that can really fly. No, it's a kind of model, I think. There was also an ambulance in one of the streets, but it wasn't moving. The driver was having his lunch. In a restaurant? No, he was sitting in the driver's seat. And where were you? By that tall hotel, the one on the corner of Bridge Street. And, oh, Frank, I saw a spaceship. Mum, now you're being silly. No, listen. I had to go to the fire station to give someone there a letter. And... No, wait, it was later in the afternoon than that. I know, I was walking past the castle. Yes? And I saw a picture of one on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to part three again. I saw someone riding a really cool bicycle as well. A racing bike? I don't know, but it looked very expensive. I was outside the post office when they rode past on that. Did you take a photo of it on your phone? No, Frank. I was too busy to do that. And a fire engine raced past me too this morning. Where was it going? I didn't see. Well, perhaps we'll hear something about it on the news. Yes, I'm trying to think where I was. I wasn't very near the fire station. Oh, I remember. I was going past the shoe factory. I'm doing a project on rockets. Well, I saw one of those too today. I don't believe you, Mum. I did. There's one by the entrance to the sports stadium. Not one that can really fly. No, it's a kind of model, I think. There was also an ambulance in one of the streets, but it wasn't moving. The driver was having his lunch. In a restaurant? No, he was sitting in the driver's seat. And where were you? By that tall hotel, the one on the corner of Bridge Street. And, oh, Frank, I saw a spaceship. Mum, now you're being silly. No, listen. I had to go to the fire station to give someone there a letter. And, no, wait, it was later in the afternoon than that. I know. I was walking past the castle. Yes? And I saw a picture of one on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time will Oliver arrive at his cousin's house? OK, Oliver. It's a quarter to five. You need to get the bus soon. Are you nearly ready? Not quite. What time will I arrive at my cousin's house, Mom? 5.30? No. You'll get to his house at a quarter past six. OK, thanks. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What does Oliver hope to do? I hope it'll be fun there, but I don't want to camp in the garden again. No, I remember. You didn't enjoy that. 
But you can play chess every evening. That sounds a bit boring, Mom. Actually, I'm really hoping I can watch Cousin David's volleyball team again. Oh, I'm sure your aunt will take you to see that. Two. What has Oliver not found yet? So, have you got everything? I found my trainers. That's good. You'll need those. What about your favorite belt? I still haven't found that yet, but I've got my new pajamas. Right. Three. Which homework will Oliver take? I've got to take some homework with me, but I don't mind. For which subject? More math? That's right. I have already finished my geography. Good. And did you find the information for your science work? Yes, I did an online search. And I got everything that I needed. Four. What must Oliver remember to take? I've got my walking socks. Well done. That's good. Have you remembered to put a bandage in your bag? Why should I take one of those? Because your elbow might get sore again if you play lots of tennis. Okay. Oh, and I've got my new diary. Five. Who must Oliver send a message to? Now, the last thing. You've got your phone. Please use it. What do you mean? Shall I send you text messages, Mom? If you like, but it's more important to send one to your grandfather. Okay, I'll tell him all about my adventures with cousin David. Excellent. Now listen to part four again. One. What does Oliver hope to do? I hope it'll be fun there, but I don't want to camp in the garden again. No, I remember. You didn't enjoy that. But you can play chess every evening. That sounds a bit boring, Mom. Actually, I'm really hoping I can watch Cousin David's volleyball team again. Oh, I'm sure your aunt will take you to see that. Two. What has Oliver not found yet? So, have you got everything? I found my trainers. That's good. You'll need those. What about your favorite belt? I still haven't found that yet. But I've got my new pajamas. Right. Three. Which homework will Oliver take? I've got to take some homework with me, but I don't mind. For which subject? More math. That's right. I have already finished my geography. Good. And did you find the information for your science work? Yes, I did an online search, and I got everything that I needed. Four. What must Oliver remember to take? I've got my walking socks. Well done. That's good. Have you remembered to put a bandage in your bag? Why should I take one of those? Because your elbow might get sore again if you play lots of tennis. Okay. Oh, and I've got my new diary. Five. 
Who must Oliver send a message to? Now, the last thing. You've got your phone. Please use it. What do you mean? Shall I send you text messages, Mom? If you like. But it's more important to send one to your grandfather. Okay. I'll tell him all about my adventures with Cousin David. Excellent. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Wow! This boy is having fun. He's playing computer games. Would you like to colour some of the picture? Sure. Can I colour the big cushion that the boy's sitting on? All right. Let's make it pink. Cool. That looks great, doesn't it? Can you see the pink cushion? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. What's next? How about the boy's backpack? Could I colour the one that's under the chair? If you want, use blue for that. OK. I've got that colour. There. I've done that. Two. Would you like to colour the racing car as well? All right. Do you mean the one on the floor? No, the one on the screen. Colour that one instead, please. OK, fine. Can I choose the colour this time? Yes. Then I'll make that purple. Three. This picture needs some writing too. Can I write a name on the largest drum? Yes. What's a good name for a boy's band? Ocean? No. How about tunes? I mean, that's another word for music, isn't it? Yes, it is. OK, write that name there. Four. Actually, I want you to write something else here as well. There's a poster on the wall opposite the boy. It's above the shelf. Can you see it? Yes, but I can't see all of it. Don't worry about that. Just write August after the number 16 there, please. OK. So that's the date? Yes, that's when he went to a festival and bought that poster. Five. Perhaps you should colour that comic too. The one that's half on and half off the rug? Yes, please. Let's think. How about yellow for that? No problem. It won't take much time to colour that. Good. you finished now. Well done. Now listen to part five again. 
one. What's next? How about the boy's backpack? Could I colour the one that's under the chair? If you want, use blue for that. OK, I've got that colour. There, I've done that. Two. Would you like to colour the racing car as well? All right. Do you mean the one on the floor? No, the one on the screen. Colour that one instead, please. OK, fine. Can I choose the colour this time? Yes. Then I'll make that purple. Three. This picture needs some writing too. Can I write a name on the largest drum? Yes. What's a good name for a boy's band? Ocean? No. How about tunes? I mean, that's another word for music, isn't it? Yes, it is. OK, write that name there. Four. Actually, I want you to write something else here as well. There's a poster on the wall opposite the boy. It's above the shelf. Can you see it? Yes, but I can't see all of it. Don't worry about that. Just write August after the number 16 there, please. OK. So that's the date? Yes. That's when he went to a festival and bought that poster. Five. Perhaps you should colour that comic too. The one that's half on and half off the rug? Yes, please. Let's think. How about yellow for that? No problem. It won't take much time to colour that. Good. You've finished now. Well done. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you know these people in the cafe? Yes, I do. They're having breakfast. Yes, they are. The food looks good. Who's that girl with long black hair? Which one? The girl who's cutting some cheese? Yes. Oh, that's Betty. She's a friend of mine. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. There are some other girls in the cafe. Yes. Can you see the girl who's carrying something? Yes. What's she got? Are they strawberries? That's right. That's Emma. She loves fruit. Do you know that boy? The one with the cookies? The boy with the short blonde hair? No, not him. The other boy. Oh, that's George. He's in my class at school. There are two boys who are sitting at a table. Yes, they're eating too. What have they got? Can you see? It's yoghurt, I think. Oh, yes. That boy's called David. The one with the spoon in his hand? No, the one with the striped T-shirt. He's my best friend. Do you know that girl? 
Do you mean the one with long brown hair? Yes, I do. What's her name? That's Sophia. She's my sister. Oh, is she? She's holding some olives. What's she going to do with them? I don't know. Perhaps she'll eat them. There's a boy who's got some hot drinks. Yes, he's taking them to the table. Well, that's Oliver. He's my brother. He's older than me. Well, it's a great cafe, isn't it? Shall we go in and have a drink? Now listen to part one again. There are some other girls in the cafe. Yes. Can you see the girl who's carrying something? Yes. What's she got? Are they strawberries? That's right. That's Emma. She loves fruit. Do you know that boy, the one with the cookies? The boy with the short blonde hair? No, not him. The other boy. Oh, that's George. He's in my class at school. There are two boys who are sitting at a table. Yes, they're eating too. What have they got? Can you see? It's yogurt, I think. Oh yes, that boy's called David. The one with the spoon in his hand. No, the one with the striped T-shirt. He's my best friend. Do you know that girl? Do you mean the one with long brown hair? Yes, I do. What's her name? That's Sophia. She's my sister. Oh, is she? She's holding some olives. What's she going to do with them? I don't know. Perhaps she'll eat them. There's a boy who's got some hot drinks. Yes, he's taking them to the table. Well, that's Oliver. He's my brother. He's older than me. Well, it's a great cafe, isn't it? Shall we go in and have a drink? That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. How was your first day at school? Great, Dad. But there are some things I need to get. Okay, let's write them down. I need some sunglasses. You don't usually have classes outside. We're going to go for a walk to look at birds tomorrow. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Do you need anything for your sports lessons? Well, I need sports shoes. That's all. Okay, you can wear your white ones. Oh, okay. And I need to find a picture for my art class. What kind of picture? I need to get one of a penguin. Some other children have to find pictures of insects. I'm sure we can find something. What else do you need? I need to get a new file. Okay, that's easy. Is it for your English work? No, it's for my science projects. I need to keep them safe. No problem. Cool. Also, we're going to go on a trip next Thursday. We're going to camp that night. That sounds amazing. Do you need anything for that? Yes, I do. I need some shampoo. Can we buy my favorite? It's called Blue Ocean. Okay, we can go to the store later. Thanks, Dad. There's one more thing. We're going to have a special pets day. We can take our pets to school and talk about them. So, are you going to take the kitten? I'd like to take our rabbit. Okay, if you want, but you must be careful with it. I will. Thanks, Dad. Now listen to part two again. Do you need anything for your sports lessons? Well, I need sports shoes. That's all. Okay, you can wear your white ones. Oh, okay. And I need to find a picture for my art class. What kind of picture? I need to get one of a penguin. Some other children have to find pictures of insects. I'm sure we can find something. What else do you need? I need to get a new file. 
Okay, that's easy. Is it for your English work? No, it's for my science projects. I need to keep them safe. No problem. Cool. Also, we're going to go on a trip next Thursday. We're going to camp that night. That sounds amazing. Do you need anything for that? Yes, I do. I need some shampoo. Can we buy my favorite? It's called Blue Ocean. Okay. We can go to the store later. Thanks, Dad. There's one more thing. We're going to have a special pets day. We can take our pets to school and talk about them. So, are you going to take the kitten? I'd like to take our rabbit. Okay, if you want. But you must be careful with it. I will. Thanks, Dad. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Richard's friends have different hobbies. Which hobby does each friend have? You know a lot of interesting people, don't you, Richard? Yes. My friends all have amazing hobbies. Do you know Harry? Yes, I do. I met him at the theatre. He loves being on stage. Mm, yes, he's very good at acting. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Who's your friend that goes to the gym a lot? That's Michael. He goes there every day after work. That's boring, isn't it? Well, he doesn't think it is. What about your friend Sarah? She likes being outside, doesn't she? Yes. She loves going up mountains and then coming down them as fast as she can. Oh, so does she like cycling then? Snowboarding. I believe she's very good at it. She's very brave. I'm not. You have a friend who's called Katie, don't you? That's right. She loves collecting things. Oh, what kind of things? I've seen her buying comics. Is that what she collects? No, stamps. She's got lots now from different countries. That's great. My friend William knows a lot about his hobby. Oh, yes. What's that? He likes to watch racing. He knows all the facts about it. Oh, my brother likes bikes too. No, not those. He likes cars, the really fast ones. Oh, I'm not very interested in that. Are you? No, not really. You like listening to rock music, don't you? I like talking to my friend Helen about it. I learned a lot from her because she knows so much about different bands. That's great. I'd like to meet some of your friends. They sound really interesting. Yes, they are. Now listen to part three again. Who's your friend that goes to the gym a lot? That's Michael. He goes there every day after work. That's boring, isn't it? Well, he doesn't think it is. What about your friend Sarah? She likes being outside, doesn't she? Yes. She loves going up mountains and then coming down them as fast as she can. Oh, so does she like cycling then? Snowboarding. I believe she's very good at it. She's very brave. I'm not. You have a friend who's called Katie, don't you? That's right. She loves collecting things. Oh, what kind of things? I've seen her buying comics. Is that what she collects? No, stamps. She's got lots now from different countries. That's great. My friend William knows a lot about his hobby. Oh, yes. What's that? He likes to watch racing. 
He knows all the facts about it. Oh, my brother likes bikes too. No, not those. He likes cars, the really fast ones. Oh, I'm not very interested in that. Are you? No, not really. You like listening to rock music, don't you? I like talking to my friend Helen about it. I learned a lot from her, because she knows so much about different bands. That's great. I'd like to meet some of your friends. They sound really interesting. Yes, they are. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time will Sophia's family leave home tomorrow? I'm excited about our holiday, Dad. Me too, Sophia. We've got to get up early tomorrow. I'm going to get up at quarter to six. Well, we must be ready to go at six o'clock. You need to get up half an hour earlier. At quarter past five? Yes, that's right. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What must Sophia put in her backpack tonight? Have you got everything ready, Sophia? I've put my diary in my backpack. I want to write about what we do each day. Good idea. Have you got a magazine to read on the plane? Yes. Mum bought one for me. Put it in your backpack this evening, so you don't forget it. We'll take some snacks for the plane too. We can decide what to take in the morning. Great. Two. Where is the hotel? Where's the hotel, Dad? Is it next to the beach? No, it isn't. But we can go there every day. Great. The hotel's on a hill with amazing views. Is it in a village? No, it's in the countryside. It's beautiful. Three. Which new food will Sophia eat? Will there be lots of pizza in Italy? Yes, and they make delicious ice cream there too. But you should try something new. Like what? Well, they make little balls which are made of flour and potato. You eat them with sauce. OK, I'll try those. Four. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? It'll be hot, but there are lots of storms in August. Really? Yes. In some places, ice falls from the sky. And sometimes there's fog from the sea. But we won't see those things where we're going to be. Good. Five. What is Sophia going to do on holiday? There are lots of things to do there. Can we get bicycles and go for rides? Yes, why not? And we can go to a circus near the hotel. No thanks. There'll be huge animals and they're frightening. <laughs> no, there won't. But we don't need to do that. Good. It's going to be an amazing holiday. Now listen to part four again. One. What must Sophia put in her backpack tonight? Have you got everything ready, Sophia? I've put my diary in my backpack. I want to write about what we do each day. Good idea. Have you got a magazine to read on the plane? Yes. 
Mum bought one for me. Put it in your backpack this evening, so you don't forget it. We'll take some snacks for the plane too. We can decide what to take in the morning. Great. Two. Where is the hotel? Where's the hotel, Dad? Is it next to the beach? No, it isn't. But we can go there every day. Great. The hotel's on a hill with amazing views. Is it in a village? No, it's in the countryside. It's beautiful. Three. Which new food will Sophia eat? Will there be lots of pizza in Italy? Yes, and they make delicious ice cream there too. But you should try something new. Like what? Well, they make little balls which are made of flour and potato. You eat them with sauce. Okay, I'll try those. Four. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? It'll be hot, but there are lots of storms in August. Really? Yes. In some places, ice falls from the sky, and sometimes there's fog from the sea. But we won't see those things where we're going to be. Good. Five. What is Sophia going to do on holiday? There are lots of things to do there. Can we get bicycles and go for rides? Yes. Why not? And we can go to a circus near the hotel. No thanks. There'll be huge animals, and they're frightening. <laughs> no, there won't. But we don't need to do that. Good. It's going to be an amazing holiday. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can I color this picture? It's great. Yes, you can. The children are camping. I know. Look at their tents. Can I color one? Why don't you color the one at the front of the picture? Okay. Shall I color it red? I love that color. Yes, good. Can you see the red tent? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. They've got a good fire. That's right. It's nice and safe in those stones. There are two children next to it. Yes, they're singing and playing. Do you want to color one of the drums? Yes, I'll color the small one blue. Okay. Two. Now can you find the stream? Yes, there's some writing on the board above it. A word is missing. Yes, can you write the missing word? Write summer. Yes, okay, I'll do that now. Well done. You're good at writing. Three. Can I color a flashlight? Okay, why not? Which one do you want to color? The one on the blanket? No, I'll do the other one. Which color shall I do it? How about orange? That's a nice color. Okay, I like it too.
four. What do you want to do now? I'd like to write something on that piece of wood in front of the trees. Okay, the one that tells people which way to go. Where's it pointing to? The pond. Can you write that word? Yes, I can spell that. Okay, I've done that now. Great. Perhaps the children can go there later. Five. Can I color something else now? Yes. What do you want to color? How about the big backpack? Shall I do it gray? No. Make it purple. Okay. I finished. Fantastic! What a great picture. Now listen to part five again. One. They've got a good fire. That's right. It's nice and safe in those stones. There are two children next to it. Yes, they're singing and playing. Do you want to color one of the drums? Yes, I'll color the small one blue. Okay. Two. Now can you find the stream? Yes, there's some writing on the board above it. A word is missing. Yes, can you write the missing word? Write summer. Yes. Okay, I'll do that now. Well done. You're good at writing. Three. Can I color a flashlight? Okay, why not? Which one do you want to color? The one on the blanket? No, I'll do the other one. Which color shall I do it? How about orange? That's a nice color. Okay, I like it too. Four. What do you want to do now? I'd like to write something on that piece of wood in front of the trees. Okay, the one that tells people which way to go. Where's it pointing to? The pond. Can you write that word? Yes, I can spell that. Okay, I've done that now. Great. Perhaps the children can go there later. Five. Can I color something else now? Yes. What do you want to color? How about the big backpack? Shall I do it gray? No. Make it purple. Okay. I finished. Fantastic! What a great picture. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.